Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mikey. Um, today I'm gonna show you um, my Yasu A5070 traveling pack or you know backpack. Um, I I modified a couple things in the in the radio, and I added a battery, 12 volt 12 volt battery, and well, it has worked pretty good though. Uh, you'd lower the RF output to uh, I did it to 10 watts but if you do it 5 watts it's also awesome it, it gives you about 5 hours of uh, power um, so well this is the back um, this is actually a, a wireless microphone case and you can find this one on Amazon I will post the link um, on the description of this video where you can get this bag, it's about 50 bucks, uh, probably less, you can get it cheaper. Uh, Alright, so this is, what it, this is what I have here. Uh, the front, we have the, uh, the radio, the radio front panel, and I put this, uh, you know, the facing here. Um, I, this is just the speaker, I got, um, this was from my old Bluetooth car speaker, and I just removed all the comp you know the components and and soldering a cable with the jack, uh, you know the phone jack. I'm sorry, uh, headphone jack, and you can plug it in the back. So well, this is it. Let me put this right here, and that's that's the front side of the of the backpack. This is the back side. I actually have a, a Bluetooth um, cat that I use with the with an application with an Android. I will also show how it works in a little bit. And uh, and this is the actual battery right here. Twelve volts. Uh, 9 amperes pretty powerful battery you can find that at your you know uh, electric electronic store for probably I think this one was about $20 or something like that uh, I don't remember the exact price I, it's been a while since I bought it so you can either connect the antenna Directly from here, I have the you know the the adapter. So the antenna, this is a, a, a dual band antenna. You can do it from here, or you can have an external antenna as the one I'm gonna show next. All right, this is the this is the back side of the of the uh, traveling bag. Now uh, this is the modification I did. I bought this little replica of a military uh, military uh, handset, and I did, you know, I put the RJ45, the Cat5 uh, cable, so I can connect it to the to the uh, to the F57, and this is for the speaker. So. Here, let's try it. Let's go some here. Right here. And just in there. So this is as of the microphone. Now forgot to power the connect the power in the back. I just charged the battery. We have a bat floating here in the Bay Area last week, so I charged everything just in case we run out of power, you know, an emergency. We're gonna have my hand ready already for just, or, you know, communications in case it's needed, or you never know. It's always nice to be prepared just in case. And this is the radio here. Uh, 
Uh, it's kind of hard to hear, but this is the this is the uh, the microphone without the speaker working. You guys can see right here. You can transmit, and I can easily hear on the. Hold on one second. All right. I'll just put this right in that frequency. Testing one two, test, test one two. And that's testing one two, test, test one two. <clears throat> now we're gonna test the um, the Bluetooth and I'm using the this application that you can download online for um, for the Yasu A A17 or there's another one here. Let me let me just show you real quick. Uh, cool. And this one is called Pocket R RXTX, and you can connect the radio through uh, Bluetooth. Okay. So as you can see here. Hopefully, it's you will be able to appreciate it with the camera. This is the frequency that we are in here, and I can just move it, and it changes in the radio. So this is for the for the uh, like I said the the. Bluetooth cat adapter and this is actually a very inexpensive part I pay about I think ten dollars online and uh, very easy to install uh, usually in instructions it will tell you what's the rate uh, that we're using so whatever the rate is you have to you have to sync the radio with the cat device otherwise it's not gonna work and try spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to make it work and it just didn't do it also I'm um, I'm been working on the trying to make it work with a uh, ham radio deluxe and and everything works just fine except that the frequency is not updated in this uh, in the display what's on the radio but all the functions work so I'm still working on that it has to take a little bit of a research and then you know tweaking the software and the radio but uh, I'll get to it and I'll probably make a video how to make it work because it's not there's no documentation or actual information of somebody has done it except for one guy but he literally didn't show much just you just show the radio and show the computer they both sync but there is not much um, no info, no documentation whatsoever on how he did it, and I have an idea. I just being, you know, this is just a, like a, a weekend affair project. Uh, make it work with ham radio deluxe, deluxe, and uh, using the, um, like I say, using the Bluetooth. All right, so this is the backpack. That's the radio attached to the backpack now. Uh, you can see right here. That's the, the top side, and this is the antenna. I got this frame at the military um, surplus store here in my area. I use a couple of straps here to attach the backpack to the frame. That's just a little pouch, so I want to carry anything else. Uh, it's already heavy enough. Uh, my handset and um, backpack itself and that's the antenna of course you can use any other antenna as you want uh, yeah. this antenna is detachable and also has a, a tripod where I can just put on the table and and use it there uh, so okay hope you guys I hope this video inspires somebody to do something like this and it's something better please post it and share it with us and we are always looking for innovations and good ideas for this uh, amazing hobbies that we have. Okay, thank you for watching.